All right, everyone, welcome to the Beta Boys Podcast, and I don't know why, all right, so listen, I eat, you know those, f- what are those donuts called, the Enlightenment, Intelligence, <laughs> what, what Intimates, 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 bruh, all right, something about those, the ones that are chocolate on the outside and chocolate on the inside, yeah, they, chocolate on chocolate, bro, those do something to me where I could be alone, and I can get a box of those. And I, I honestly, I'm being a hundred percent honest. I for for what I think, I have good skin. Okay, I don't really get pimples. You know, just yeah. I take care. I do nice shit. But dog, those things. You give me half a cup of oat milk and a box of those. Those are the one things I could take. I'll dip it in the fucking oat milk. I'll wait till it sogs up a little bit, and I won't even chew it. I'll swallow it whole. I'd be I, lying if I said I hadn't eaten a whole box of Entenmann's in a day. Okay, I, I've never done that. The most I've probably eaten was three or four. But something happens to where it just, it makes me itchy. Do you get with that? You got like, a little gluten allergy. Nah, it's not gluten, dog. It's like shit like that, bro. Like, I've never like had gluten allergy, but it's like, if I eat bad, like bad food like that, like, my body doesn't react good to it. Like, dog, you just ate a fucking box of 90 eclairs. Took him out solo, bro. I didn't do that today. And I had one of them. And, like, the back of my thighs are itchy. My nose is itchy. Yeah, that could be a gluten allergy. Your body changes every seven years. Nah, but this has been, like, my whole life. Maybe you've always had it. Nah, dog, because it's just when I eat bad. You know those? Bro, all right. I'm going to be honest. I try to eat healthy for the most part. And for the most part, I succeed. Rice, go to every day. But... Dark chocolate, seventy-two percent and up, in my freezer throughout the week. Boom, hit a little piece, throw it in my mouth. That's good, right? Yeah, that's, that's good. healthy for you, right? It's moderation. Yeah, moderation is fuck. But dog, sometimes I just go in those things where I fucking twitch. Sprouts got those vegan cookies that can make my dick hard. Well, those are great. Those those, those are, are fantastic. Better than the actual cookies. Exactly. And then I, I Publix had these fucking chocolate chip cookies. With fucking green yeah, chips. Yeah, the, the, like the, the and they were mint, mint chocolate ones. I threw them away because it was making my body itchy. Yeah, dude. And That's... it's like, bro, I know it's happening when I'll get pimples right here. But it's sounding like it's worse than ever. What do you mean? Like, you've never, like, mentioned it to this extent. Dog, it's because literally I'll go to it and when it starts to, like, act up and I start to get itchy, I'll stop. I'll be like, okay. Oreos? Barely eat them? <laughs> I like to eat Oreos, bro, with this, when the seasons come out. I'll probably have how many seasons they have. They have spring. I don't really fuck with the spring ones. Yeah, you know? that's whatever. They yeah, just, they, they, get away from me. Yellow. Those Halloween ones <laughs> and those Christmas Oreos. You I feel good about it. Bring them here. You get what I'm saying? You need and that then that's red it. Dye. Yeah. Two boxes of Oreos a year. That's not that bad. That's all I'm saying. Okay. And then those, I could dog them. I won't feel anything. But like this shit, I'll get itchy on my forehead. Like here, like my back, yeah. like my neck. I'm just saying, that sounds like an allergy. Nah, it'll be like, I'll get a little pimples. Yeah, that's, those are like little uh, fucking hives. I get that too. When I'm like around like really hyperallergenic cats, I get that shit too. Nah, because I don't think yours is the same as mine. It'll be like little <laughs> pimples with like pus and shit like that, dog. All right. Yo, it sounds like a food allergy. No, because if I don't eat it, I'm fine. Exactly. And then that eclair, like right here, this scratch that I'm about to do, that was brought to you by that eclair. I'm standing with my statement. No I, way. It's got to be a food allergy, dude. Absolutely not. It only happens when you eat. mm <laughs> And then fucking, I got Nick this thing. I don't know if you know what guanana is, but it's the main ingredient in fucking energy drinks. Listen, dog. I don't do no fucking coffee. I don't drink no fucking energy drinks or shit like that so i got him the guanana and i was like oh okay there's a brazilian soda called guanana yeah again for the most part mad healthy but a couple years ago i got the guanana and i drank it it's nice so i took the little vitamin and i was like maybe it's gonna taste like the guanana how bad could it be bro when i tell you i've been geeking for fucking nine hours now. Yeah, you didn't read the side of that. Dog, I could see, literally, 
I could see into your phone that we're recording in, and I can see like the technology, and I'm looking at the fucking person <laughs> watching this video so, through the screen. <clears throat> Let me give it some context, though. There's 200 milligrams of caffeine in there, and he doesn't drink any sort of caffeine. He doesn't take any sort of caffeine, nothing. This man literally just popped the amount of a Celsius worth of caffeine in a pill. All right. Now that we got past it and we're good, this is the real part of the video. Everyone, Epstein's Island's fucking list got revealed. And you know what they tried to do to cover it up the same day? What are you doing? What are you writing down? Keep going. What they did, bro, is they faked a UFO sighting in Orlando. Or not Orlando, Miami. And maybe it's fake, maybe it's not. But the fact that you're going to say... Epstein's Island came out like this, and then look what's happening in Orlando. They're trying to conflict the interest, the two things, so you get rid of one. Have you you watch the news daily, bro? Daily, I would say by the minute you're watching the news. No, the only time I don't see you watching the news is right now when we record these videos. Not quite. How often was that shit brought up? Epstein? Yeah, the list, the list. Quite a bit. Clintons apparently they're on vacation right now. They coming back? Yeah. Are any of these people going to get arrested? That's what I'm asking. No. How? Definitely not. Bro, Epstein had shit on everybody. Like, the fact that he ended up dead. Yo, do totally me a favor. Hit the, hit the, I'm so sorry, but you got to hit the AC flow real quick. But the, the fact that he ended up dead, I'm starting, bro. I have to start. Listen, I faked the video in the beginning. I, yeah, I'm itchy, but I don't give a fuck. We got to do this shit right now. This is breaking fucking news, dog. So the fact that he has something on everyone... How do you think he died? No, nah, he got killed. 100%. I mean, it, that's obvious. He, there's a picture of Bill Clinton in a dress that he hung on his wall. That that's man a flex. Had, that man had Prince fucking uh, William or whatever the fuck, uh, British royalty from the royal family, like caught dead to rights with an underage prostitute. Caught what? Dead to rights. What does that mean? It means like there's photographic evidence. Of him with an actual uh, underage prostitute, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, there's so much shit. He has stuff with Trump in the uh, new files that just came out. Is that true? Because I heard T-Rump was... Uh... No, no, no. Just listen. He had, like, it wasn't that Trump, like, was with underage girls and they have photographic evidence of that. But there's clear evidence that they were they were friends. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, Jeffrey Epstein wasn't able to fly to New York because of some sort of, like... Uh, landing situation or whatever else with his private plane, so he ended up having to go to New Jersey. Back then, Trump had his casino in Atlantic City, so he stayed over there, hung out there. Atlantic City's in Jersey? What? Atlantic City. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, <clears throat> so he flew into New Jersey, hung out at Trump's hotel for a day or two, you know what I mean? Gambled there. Two of his uh, women were there with him. But they weren't old enough to gamble, but they were allowed to be in the hotel because they were with him. You know what I mean? So there's, like, just stories of how they were walking around. They couldn't do anything, so they were just, like, wandering. You know what I mean? That was in Trump's hotel. But why are none of these people going to jail, dog? It's not going to happen. Why? It's just not going to happen. The fucking Jeffrey Epstein was probably, you know, some sort of intelligence. You know what I mean? Like, he was some sort of uh, intelligence asset. He had stuff on everybody. You think he was CIA? Uh, so I don't know if it's CIA or Mossad, which is is Israel's, like CIA. But he was he was definitely working either with one of them or both of them. Was he American? I think so. I I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but he he might not have been. I'm pretty sure he is though. But regardless, you know, he had all this stuff and all these people. All of the the stuff, all of his private videotapes, which were probably blackmail, all this, all the pictures and everything, all that stuff just disappears. The FBI comes in, takes it all, right? Then after that, Epstein goes to jail. What happens to Epstein? He gets whacked. Yo, he, he gets destroyed. <clears throat> he hangs himself in prison. But then, when you look at the the injury he received in hanging himself, his neck was literally snapped like a twig. By this random bodybuilder, testosterone-filled fucking ex-cop that was in prison. Happens to be sharing the cell with him. Known for, like, murdering people. Snaps his neck. You know what I mean? The guards were conveniently asleep in the security room. You know what I mean? Away without leave. I don't think they got any sort of real punishment. 
and then case closed. Do you think that they... So you heard about that shit in Miami? What, the the UFO stuff? Yeah. I'd see, that too far, too far apart. Too but far do you think apart. it's trying to, like, cover it up? No. What do you mean, no? Bro, the real cover-up is the fact that you have to actually go out of your way to find, you know, what's in the documents. I think, like, some of the news media is starting to talk about it more just due to the fact that it's such a big story and so many people are interested in it. And the news, at the end of the day, is just there to make money. Dog, in a year and a half, we're going to have a fucking Netflix documentary called Epstein's Island. I mean, maybe. It's possible. But at the same time, I you know... It, it, so Bill Clinton's going to come want... back and he's not, he doesn't have to go to jail? No, he's not going to go to jail. Why? Because he's not going to. It's just not going to happen. No, no one that's actually powerful is going to go to jail. Alan Dershowitz, who is... Uh, I forget what he is. He's like some Hollywood dude or whatever the fuck. It doesn't even matter. I mean, he is a known creep. Uh, like a known uh, pedophile, whatever else. And he's in these documents like 117 times. Like something insane. Is he going to jail? No. Is anyone going to jail that was on Epstein Island's list? No. It's really just <clears throat> so the public can know at this point. They're unsealing these records. But no one is going to go to jail. So we're just going to frown upon them. Yeah, shame. We're just going to see him like, you're fucking gross. Yep. Literally. And that's that's the real cover-up. That's the real goal, right? Yeah, you have some people in there that look bad. Some of them, their reco- their image probably won't ever recover. But for the most part, like a lot of these people, it's just going to be water under the bridge. Everyone's going to forget about it. It's not going to be really blown up all over CNN. How is that okay? Else. How was that okay? I'm not saying it is. You're going to fucking PP Island, dog. I'm not. And it, everything's fine. On. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying though, but, for the people but of the world, that's the cover up. Because was it just, mostly Americans that were doing this? Or was it scattered all over the world? All over. Important people. Okay. Like politicians across the world, a lot of scientists, a lot of like uh, MIT or professors, like really like decorated professors, those people also were compromised because, you know, professors, right? Super smart, very intellectual, whatever it is. A lot of those people, they, they lack in the other aspects of their life, you know, like their sexual, so like, romantic We lives. need some fucking pussy, bruh. Yeah, and he's and he's an orchestrator of those types of things. Eek will suck this dick. Well, I mean, like, he was really big with donating to a lot of these uh, studies or colleges, whatever else. Who, Epstein? Yeah, and, and he would do that in exchange for, you know, whatever he was asking for. I don't know. You know, but just compromising every facet of, of society in one way or another, whether you be famous, whether you be... Uh, you know, a politician, you have power. So where was this island located, bro? Virgin Islands, I believe. So is that like... It's part of the U.S. I know, I I understand that. But I'm saying, is the laws different? Like, how is this allowed? It's just like Puerto Rico. They they follow the same laws and principles. (laughs) Yeah. Damn. But it's fucking nuts. Like, I mean, if you really think about it, Kevin Spacey, who's already at this point, like a known, you know, perv. Did he go to jail? No, Kevin Spacey did not go to jail either. When he was slinging dick in fucking Hollywood? Yeah, no, he didn't. He, uh, he got acquitted, if I'm not mistaken. What the fuck does that mean? He was let off. There wasn't enough evidence. But, uh, but Kevin Spacey's another one, right? Number one, his, his performance in House of Cards fantastic right like he, he what did you really just good. said was horrible just shut up and horrible let me, bro. just shut up and let me talk look at yourself it's an objective truth Ugh. it's an objective truth it is what it is now if i get to my next point mm-hmm. i can make it yeah right but he started after everything happened he made a video as the character a person in power right and it was essentially like a loose threat saying <clears throat> you know all these people are coming after me the truth will come out blah 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 and then, if I'm not mistaken, in his trial, one or two of the people that were testifying either dropped the charges. One, I think, died. You know what I mean? It, like, strange circumstances. A lot of strange circumstances. He gets off. But he's in those papers, too. You know what I mean? Like, you have the Clintons. You have Trump. You have uh, Chris Tucker. I don't think, though, the only thing I remember, dog, and listen again, I'm not sticking up for him. Is Trump wasn't in those. Yes, he was. 
I don't think he was. He was. He was. He was in like the wit uh, the witness testimonies of the people that were right under Epstein. In the in those testimonies, they said, you know, they were asked the question, "Did you sleep with Trump? Did you have any sort of like relationship like that with Trump? Or yeah, relationship." And they said no, but okay. it doesn't it doesn't take away from the affiliation. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, because let's say Trump wasn't fucking these girls, but Epstein might have been hosting these girls in his fucking uh, casino, his hotels. You know what I mean? Like, it's shit like that. Like, they're still affiliated. No, I understand. Like, and Trump, I'm not defending Trump, anyone at Trump, all. No, no, I'm no, saying no. it's all it, fucked up. You're not, but what you're I'm not. saying is, like, I just thought that he didn't do the... Um, no, he know. wasn't. He wasn't. He didn't partake as of now of what we know in those romantic situations. Yeah. But he was definitely affiliated. I understand. Bro, listen. Like, not sticking up for them. I'm not sticking up. No, no one's but, saying. Anything. I know, I know. I'm just putting it out there. Relax and talk. I'm putting it out there, bro. I don't need in 2080 for this shit to get dug up, digged up. But all I'm saying is, I don't like. Yeah, he was affiliated, but he wasn't slinging no dick. Yeah, but there's so. Here's the thing, right? If you know about it... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's bad. He's bad. I'm not saying he's not bad. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, why are That's... you acting guilty like you're in these papers? I'm not. Just relax. Fucking, what I'm saying is, Trump didn't partake, right? Uh, Let me finish. Who's speaking? Because I've been trying to make this point four times now. Dog, I'm dressed like a literature professor. But at the same time, he would make comments saying he really likes some young... He likes some young. He would make little innuendos about what's going on as a joke. How young? Trump was pretty vague. But if he's affiliated, he's friends with him technically. Yeah. He's part of fucking Mar-a-Lago Country Club or whatever the fuck Epstein is. Like, he sees these girls he's with. Trump is obviously a fucking slimy-ass motherfucker. He knows what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like he knows what's going on. And again, I didn't say he didn't. But that's but that that level of affiliation. It's like okay, <clears throat> if you're like the maid, and you don't know shit, you're just cleaning the house, and you might see a couple weird things, but you don't know anything about it. But if you're or you're like his pilot, then you start seeing things, right? But you might not know the entire story. But then if you're like a friend, and J- and Epstein's bullshitting with you. And the real shit's gonna come out. How much did that motherfucker make? And was he wealthy before that? Well, that's the thing, right? Epstein's wealth, no one knows where it came from. But he was worth billions. No one knows where it really came from. He was a finance guy. But why would all... Like Bill Gates, right? Bill Gates would go to him for financial advice. Bill Gates dwarfs him. Bill Gates is worth like a hundred... 50 times more than Epstein ever was. Right? What advice could Jeffrey Epstein give him? But Bill Gates would go to him for relationship advice or things like that. Had like a dozen meetings with him. Why would he do that? You know what I mean? Like his wife divorced him and took half of his shit. He wasn't listening to the meetings, bro. But I mean like, well, no. Like, you if you're worth a fucking trillion dollars or whatever the fuck... You're not going to give up half it unless they got something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, his ex-wife became the wealthiest woman in the world just like that. I thought that happened to Bezos. And Gates. <clears throat> like, Bezos too, but Bezos was, like, again, dead to rights because he had an extramarital affair with his uh, secretary. And then now he's, like, married to her, I think. But, like, you know, when you have an affair, like... Except Jeff Bezos, that motherfucker's Jack now. Yeah, he's fucking on steroids launching penis-shaped rockets into space now. You gotta be Jack for that role. You know what I mean? He comes out of the fucking spaceship after going up, like, 100,000 feet, comes back down, it comes out with a cowboy hat, shoots some champagne, and all the passengers involved fucking just paid him, like, a million bucks each to go up on the fucking little penis rocket. You know what I heard that's kind of crazy? What? You remember how I'm kind of like, sometimes I'm like, yo, gravity ages us, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I heard not having gravity is actually bad for us. And when astronauts, actually, this might prove my fucking point. When astronauts come back to Earth, 
<clears throat> and they get that gravity, the first thing that happens to them is they get really sick. Well, yeah, because their body has to readjust to the pressure and everything. Yeah. But, okay, so here's here's a little little parallel story that I'm sure you're going to love, right? So there were twin astronauts. Mm-hmm. One stayed on Earth for a year. The other went into space for like a 10-month mission. It was one of the longer missions, if I'm not mistaken. The twins, on a molecular level, were different ages. Because when the other one went into space, he aged a little different. Now... There's that story. I'm sure you're loving it, right? You ready for the next part? It ain't by a lot. It's literally by like this much. It ain't anything How serious. Much? Like a fraction. Like the dude like aged maybe like a few weeks difference. A week difference maybe at most. And that's when his body's not even adjusted to that shit, dog. That's when his body's <laughs> well, not even used to it. The humans didn't evolve in zero gravity. So it can't adjust. It, it hasn't evolved there. Listen, bro. Dog, if I say a couple weeks in a 10-month period of time, it's a long time for that. Now, if it's a couple years in a decade, yeah, let's say let's say you're in space for 10 fucking years, and you age like you do, and I only aged four years in that 10 years. Hold on. I'm fact-checking that. Because it might have been a week. It might have been two weeks. It also might have been like an hour. Or eight weeks. No, it wasn't that much. It wasn't that much. The, it was it was very minimal. Dog, I'm just levitating on my fucking, you know, my uh, my intuition right now, bro. Yeah, whatever. Um, but on a on a molecular level, on like a DNA level, when you go into zero gravity, everything does like almost space out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that so is those, interesting. Yeah, and then those aliens, bro, that just came to Miami that there's no fucking photos of, there's no videos of, oh, they just came in the Miami mall and they wanted to fucking trade some Jordan 1s for $80, bro. Well, I mean, Get the fuck out of here. Also, You're telling me there's no mom right there with a fucking Android phone? All these motherfuckers want to be like, Apple, iPhone, what's fucking better and compare but, the two? But, but you on, have no on. fucking phone that's recorded. Listen, I, shut the fuck up. Hold on. I'm fucking trying to get to the thing dog and don't fucking meh, 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 when i'm like crushing it dog all i'm saying is how the fuck is there no phones did the government come in and say delete everything you have they said it was just teenagers there was seven thousand cop cars nick this went viral on tiktok okay let's be real we've seen some of the videos that came off tiktok is all i'm saying is Maybe it ain't fucking alien. I know, I know, bro. I'm just saying what was said on Twitter. I read Twitter for a little bit, you know. Start my day, fucking hit that, hit that Twitter shit, and then I fucking end my day just to see. Scroll once, that's it. First five things. The first five things can be fucking Adam 22's wife getting fucking fucked in a mailbox. That's my info for the day. All right. But all I'm saying is. I saw that and I said it's very weird that fucking this happened and then this happened and I don't know if it's the real thing because anyone can have fucking check marks now on Twitter but I saw Trump's profile on Twitter say talk about what happened in Miami the same day that the Epstein Island thing got released bro so I'm just saying shits you know maybe it's a cover up but maybe it's a weak one maybe they just said fuck it you know Ah. Uh. I mean, I don't know, maybe. Bro, they've been covering up dick our whole fucking lives. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't think they, like, cover up Epstein documents with with fucking extraterrestrials. I I just think it's too far apart. You know what I want to fucking see? Like, I want to see what's... When Pokemon Go happened, I want to say... I want to see what date Pokemon Go was released and what happened... In those like days, news wise, what happened in that time yeah. period when everyone would just? I bet wild guys. shit, bro. Uh, I mean, like I bet wild shit, like false flags. Yeah, like, this happened so they could cover up a whole other story. Exactly, dog. A hundred percent honest. I'm pretty sure fucking d- the first Dracula was made that day. The first Dracula. They were fucking was made putting poison in fucking humans' assholes, dog, and they're like Pokemon Go. You know. You know the thing is, like I, I honestly believe that the diversion cannot be something insane. You, you know what I mean? Like, just it's too much. What the alien or, shit? Yeah, or the Pokemon it's, Go? It's too far. It's too far. It, the alien shit. Fucking Epstein documents get released. If you really want to distract from it, you would have like fucking I don't know something come out about Bill Clinton 
or something like Bill that. Bill Clinton's already on it. No, no, no. But I mean, like, something totally separate. To- something totally separate. Like a diversion. Or, like, you know, all of a sudden they start covering Gaza more. You know what I mean? Something like to inflame people. I think that's too much. I think they did it because they understand our fucking brain cells now, bro. Our brain cells are shot. They got exactly what they wanted. Our attention span, shot. It's just done. That's what we got to make shorts. We're just feeding into the fucking attention span, bro. I agree on that. Uh, So do I. So it's shot. So they're basically like, maybe before we couldn't do that, but now we can. You get what I'm saying? (laughs) Did you see that fucking video with Joe Biden? That shit was so fucking funny. He said something and he said, it's with Elton John. And he goes, blame this guy because we had to give billions of dollars to the uh, pharmaceutical company for AIDS. And, he, <laughs> <laughs> and what? It, was just, it was just Elton John. Elton John was like, what? You, know, you want to know what that sounds like? Uh, a Biden banger. All right. That man went out onto that stage and he was like, you know what? I don't need the teleprompter tonight. That's what that sounds like. All I'm saying, bro, is fucking election season's coming. Nick's gonna start doing TikToks, bro. What's your TikTok name? Hit a little plug. You always tell people to plug, plug your shit in. Cafe Nick. Cafe it's Nick. Same thing. He's gonna do updates daily starting when this video comes out. Mm, not quite. Daily? Pfft. There's not enough news for me to talk about. Daily. Yes, there is, Nick. Nick, consistency is key for the fucking door to right. our dreams. We're moving on to the actual. Did you topic. not hear what I said? What the fuck's the topic? What were you talking about? Epstein? Everything. Yeah. I said everything. I said everything, bro. I don't need a plug. Fucking, it's in the description. Is it? It will be. Okay. But regardless, it's just it's too much to to to. Like, yes, I do agree with the attention span thing, but I also think you have to keep things within reason. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, where are they coming up with these extraterrestrials? Were they just like humans in like seven foot tall suits? Because the story I read on the alien thing, like something, whatever caused an alert in the mall, whatever it is. But the one video they got was some shitty video that they like took from a thousand feet away. It's from always a roof. shitty video, bro. It's 2024. That's what I mean. Everyone got fucking 120 megapixel fucking phones, That's what dog. I mean. It just don't make sense. It don't make sense. Don't There's make fucking sense. phones in the pretzels. Yo, you know about the fucking Sumerians, right? And the tablets from the Sumerians? Yeah. That they say it's like around 4,000 years old? Let's just Older say- Older than that. Old, no, 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 no. They said roughly around 40,000 years old. What? No. 40,000. 5,000 BC. It's like six, 7,000 years old. Co- incorrect. 40,000 years old. Maybe I'm incorrect. I don't know, Doug. All I'm saying is they said it might... Let's just say it's around 5,000 years old, okay? F- let's say, like, 5,408. <laughs> and okay. let's say, like, every 5,000 and 600 years, the Sumerian, um, the fucking, the planet that they're on goes into orbit with our shit. And oh, like, yeah, that's the Planet X thing. The Planet X, dog. The Planet fucking X. Yeah, Nubaru. <laughs> they switched Twitter to X, so maybe that's a little fucking, you know, that's a sneak diss. But all I'm saying is, what if that happens, bro? What if we get in fucking contact with that shit again? Apparently, that, that was supposed to happen in 2012. That's what that whole, like, fucking Mayan calendar end of the world thing was. Yeah, but they weren't on the right time, bro. You don't think they were on the right time? No, 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 no. They weren't on the right time. Something yeah. happened. They didn't. They didn't put daylight savings in. That's what happened, right? I think that's what happened. I'm almost positive that that's what happened. I'm pretty sure daylight savings is accounted for, though. <laughs> uh, not the fucking minds. They don't give a fuck about it, bro. They don't care. They, they got night vision. Daylight savings meant nothing to them. Of course. So, I'm just saying, bro. We, because we weren't like what they say is we're, uh, what's it called? We're a slavery, a slave species that like mated with like the Sumerians or whatever. Oh no! You're so in those tablets or whatever it is. It says that we were we are like a. Uh, mind you, this this gets into a rabbit hole, right? But it basically says, paraphrasing, because I don't know exactly what it says. It says that we are like a genetically modified species. So like this, these beings from outer space, Planet X, whatever the fuck, came down. They needed to mine the gold off of Earth. It so was it was no shut up. Was, it was it was gold and what else? And it was two things. Let me finish. No, it was gold and what else? It was gold and, and what else? They so were taking thing. gold, and they were taking one more thing. And the reason they were taking it is because they healed their planet. 
they were taking gold and turning it into dust and putting it in their atmosphere to reflect the sunlight to create a more habitable atmosphere because theirs was deteriorating. That's what it is. That's what it is. And they in the tablet or whatever the fuck says that they took like primates, took their own DNA, made the merged the two into like a lesser being of themselves. And that's what we are. That's all those things say. So that's why they say higher power. So a higher power is the fucking Sumerians. So certain people are more connected with certain shit. And that's how we get... Shit's making fucking sense right now. I'm gonna make this a short. And if you motherfuckers are like, man, the guy with the glasses suck every inch of my fucking dick. We cracking codes. Beta boys crushing it. 2024. We're here. We're dressed like substitute teachers. Nick's dressed like shit like always. Oh my god, you dress like you got stuck in fucking FedEx, bro. This is crazy. You're wearing a repurposed drug. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, I'm rocking a repurposed drug. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's making sense. And then motherfuckers get watered down so they can go back to their fucking primate. Oh my god, that's why we can be intellectuals. That's why we can have primitive fucking things. This is crazy, dog. We're hybrids, bro. We're all hybrids. Yeah, we were hybrids dumbed down to be slaves. That's what those tablets say. So what are the tablets, dog? Are they like fucking iPads or what are they? No, they're literally clay tablets, but they're very ominous because some of these tablets have the solar system in order. Yeah. You know, some of these tablets have uh, advanced like trigonometry on them. Like some of these tablets have advanced things that literally should not have existed then because right before then, according to mainstream archaeologists, we we were cavemen essentially. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like... We went from hunter-gatherer society to advanced, uh, like, multicultural civilization and in those the middle people, of uh, Mesopotamia. And the people that did the fucking trigonometry, they're on Epstein's Island, too. Bro. No, Epstein's Island was on top of their fucking, on top of their fucking lands. How long did Sumerians live for? Did I tell you? Um, how long were they around? How long did they live for? Their that, civilization? Their average lifespan of a Sumerian. Oh, back then it was like forty, fifty years old. For a Sumerian, yeah, they were. They were. That was like, like, long time ago. Sumerians aren't human. Y- yeah, they are. The other ones that made it. No, though. Okay, so again, just saying the story. That is what that. Those are the Anunnaki. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. That's like those, the whole like those story fucks. of them. That sounds like a Japanese. Yeah, they fucking were like they, gang. they, they, they. According to those tablets had lifespans of 20 to 25,000 years. And they and so like those tablets basically give like their history where it says these kings would come, they would they would rule over us for 10 20,000 years. It'd be an entire like era of humanity. And then the next king would take over. And there was a line of succession like eight or nine kings. And then it got to a point where the kings started dying off younger like not 20,000 years it was like 10,000 years. Whatever the fuck and then there was a war that happened between, like, that... The good and bad. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And that one faction wanted to just keep us enslaved. The other faction wanted to, like, let us be free. The good faction won. And that's basically the story of it. And then event, and then they all left after their war happened. And then there's a... So there's... In Africa, it's the oldest, uh, like megalithic structure or whatever I don't, I don't even know how to explain it but it's basically like a guide stone or something that was carved by humans whatever it is it's the oldest one it's thousands and thousands of years old and it's a dedication to Anki who is the uh, the good guy like the good king or the the good leader of the faction and apparently that's in Africa and then there's maps of Africa too that are like repurposed like they were redrawn um from thousands and thousands of years ago and it shows all these different cities throughout the sahara throughout africa and that that history has just been suppressed and submerged whatever it is because the sahara desert now coats the north half of africa and that wasn't there like four thousand years ago like the desert wasn't there but like the climate shifted and all those series got or cities got buried A lot of a lot of missing pieces to to human history. You know what I mean? Like this is they just like the one story. They yelled at me, but 
we're half of a species that lived 25 to 10 to 25,000 years old. Yeah, but in that genetic modification, let's say it's real. In that genetic modification, part of it could have been that we die like ants compared to them. So maybe we die you. at 80 years. Maybe you. No, that's pretty pretty all around. I'm living to 400. I hope you do. I hope you do. But, you know, in those tablets, we were we were genetically modified to be a lesser version of them. Lifespan, intelligence, the whole nine. We were just we were modified to just be smart enough to like solve our problems and like being slaves according to Sumerian like culture. And maybe this is the slaves like that we're working. What? Like maybe this is the fucking like maybe we're still slaves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just got a different master. Like now the master is, you know, the overall like just world order of just extracting like profit from like the third world, whatever it is. You know? Humans always strive for power. You know, human society always aims for that. So whether we have like extraterrestrial masters or fucking greedy psychopathic ones, we we always find our way into being at someone else's subjugation. That's like the story of human history. No head is bad head. Beta boys out. Wow. What a what an ending. Suck my fucking I told you we live for thousands of years.